Hey, it's Mark. Welcome to Atlanta Gay Pride 2012. This is pretty, this is Piedmont Park. I love Atlanta. You know, they used to have Gay Pride in Atlanta in June, but the drag queens were passing out a lot during the parade. It's very, very hot. They've had much fewer medical emergencies since they moved it to October. You know, Pride is a wonderful time, but Pride makes me think about many things. It makes me think about pride and shame stigma, HIV, all of those things mixed in together. You know, whether or not people are thinking about HIV and our own pride about, you know, remaining HIV negative or taking care of ourselves when we're positive. Yeah, leave it to me to take a perfectly wonderful event and make it about HIV, but that's what I do. So anyway, let's enjoy some gay pride. We all have the same condition. It's called life. I'm living mine as a gay man and an addict in recovery who's dealing with aging and being a friend and finding happiness and staying healthy and having fun and enjoying laughter all while living with HIV for more than 25 years. I'm Mark S. King and this is my fabulous disease. At the Atlanta Pride Parade, Pride was everywhere. It seemed that no matter what or who you were, you were proud. Bikers had pride. Gay flight attendants had pride. Okay, no big shock there. Gay Christians had pride. And there's Ben Cohen showing his pride. He's the world famous straight rugby player and all around hottie who's devoted himself to the cause of gay youth and bullying. Just stop the video, I, I wanna show you something. This man cannot take a bad picture. I mean, holy Kalitra, he's hot from every angle. And I have no idea who this woman is, but I hereby pronounce her the luckiest woman at Atlanta Gay Pride. Where was I? Oh yeah, right. Gay police officers had pride. This officer was actually on the job, but he's doing a great job, don't you think? He should be very proud. Oh, and drag queens had pride. Oh look, I love her. Oh, and look who it is, I love her. Oh, okay, I know a lot of drag queens, I don't know why. Okay, well, that's probably why. But in all the contingents and marchers this year, the concept of being HIV and proud was nowhere to be found. And HIV organizations were few and far between. Here's the official Atlanta Pride Guide for this year, 2012. It's 100 pages long. Now what would happen if I took these scissors and cut out every single reference to HIV and AIDS, every ad, everything. I'd chop the magazine to pieces, right? Not so much. Is this progress? If you had told me in the early days of the epidemic that gay pride would someday have only a passing reference to HIV and would feature plenty of healthy, hunky people, I would have been elated. Fantastic, right? So why do I have mixed feelings about this? Is there still a place in pride for HIV? And more to the point, is there such a thing as pause pride? I thought it was worth asking the question to some of the people involved in HIV-related work at the festival. I don't know if that's necessarily HIV pride, but I think that people are definitely um, coming out of the HIV closet. The stigma against people who are HIV positive is coming from a lot of the guys right here. Right. It's coming from a lot of the guys around here. They're the ones posting on their social network sites, drug and disease free, exactly. UB2. They're the ones that are asking us, are you clean? Mm -hmm. You know? So it seems a little tough for me to have pride in HIV when I have a lot of people around me going, not good, not one of us, doesn't make the grade, damaged goods. I think that's part of the reason why it's important that we are at events like Pride, to tell the people who are positive, you know, that you have allies in the community that support you. If you're allowing them to push you down if you allow that to, to take away from who you are. You have to choose a letter and answer a question corresponding with the letter. Okay, now I notice this is a penis. Yes. This is a penis. Yes. Yeah, penis is cool. I like penis. You like penis? I, I, I like penis. Yeah, you know, I like penis. So Paz Pride, such a thing? You know, I don't know. Would you really want to go marching down the street and telling everybody you were Paz? Well, me, I would, but that's me. I mean, that's what I do. I mean, look. Um, we need to do what we can to make people aware. So if it takes calling it Pride, then call it Pride. But it's, mm -hmm. it's the awareness that you, are, you have a, a disease and that we need to do all that we can to prevent it. And we need to make sure other people do not get it. It is still scary to disclose. 
and you don't know what kind of reaction you're going to get when you disclose. And I was standing over at the HIV testing booth, and you could tell when somebody came out with good news, and their boyfriend would go, ooh, and they'd kiss, and they'd hug, and you just wondered what would have happened if the news wasn't so good. M for masturbation. Really? Yes. Seriously? <laughs> Yes, masturbation. Okay. Okay, so you have a masturbation question. Okay. True or false, it is safe to masturbate a male partner without him wearing a condom. True. Yes, as long as there's no, there are no open cuts or wounds on your hand, there's no risk of HIV transmission for either partner. Right. Okay, so now you can get so a... So um, won. Yeah. Well, I don't tend to be out to everybody about my status. Right. You know, I self-select who I'm proud to be out with. Okay, so your, your pride, it's selectively your pride proud. is selective. It's selective pride. What is your status? Positive. And are you proud of it? I am now. I wasn't when I first got it. When I first discovered I was positive back in April of this year. Uh, but I turned it into a good thing, or it turned into a good thing. I became eligible for a vaccine study that may eliminate the medicine that we have to take. So that's something to be, to, to be proud of. It's not, you shouldn't actually be proud of the HIV, but just be proud that you're still alive and you're still you know, being aware of your health. Well, so maybe all Paz folks won't march together in a parade. The truth is we can't. There's too much stigma and real danger present in and out of our own community. But these fine people did offer an antidote to my apprehensions, a real commitment to not only personal responsibility, but our own community. That inspires me. In fact, it was Stephen, the man who tested positive only six months ago, that put this all in context more eloquently than I ever could. I'll leave you with his inspiring words. I put myself in the position where I was, was positive. I knew what was going to happen as a result of my drug use. So mm -hmm. it, was a, it, just, it was an outcome. So I'm not disappointed, yes. Just devastated, no. I'll, I'll be able to live a full life. And hopefully doing things like this, HIV awareness, getting people tested, protecting our community is something that, that I can be proud of. So yes, I think there is HIV pride.